Hey guys, Comet Turtle here, bringing you another Turtle Time. Today's subject, in case you cannot tell from the title, is about those obscure donuts uh, that are even rarer than gay leaf like myself. And no, I'm not counting dragons among those ones because for some odd reason those are actually considered actual furry. Even though they have scales and not really fur, what's going on with that? Donuts I'm talking about is item donuts. You might be saying, saying they're saying you can't have a persona based on an object. I'm here to tell you you're dead wrong. The term anthropomorphized simply means to give something an human-like trait. Typically the ability to move and speak. Even though everyone all assume it just means and I can walk and talk like a human. No. That might be what's probably considered anthro, but it is not anthropomorphic. Maybe by itself. Otherwise, Lion King wouldn't count. And that would cause, like, what? A full third of us to be interested in this fandom? No. Anthropomorphic items are seen in stuff like Beauty and the Beast, Tom and the Train, Pixar's Cars, for saying that three times fast, <laughs> And even obscure stuff like fighting food on. Not all of hers will feel a uh, kinship with an animal or mythical beast. Some feel a stronger kinship with an object, like a train, car, or that plate of spaghetti you're eating. Yes, you're eating your own kind. <laughs> now, you might be sitting there and saying to yourself, Alright, this is not something, something that's been relatively new. Yes, Beauty and the Beast didn't come out, out until, what, 2018? No, there was an older movie by Disney out there. And they've been done to death hundreds of times. Well, maybe not hundreds of times because copyright, but yeah, Beauty and the Beast is not a new concept. It was originally based on a story. I'll post a link in the description below where there's going to be a description on it. On the history of it anyway. But heck, that's that's a drop in the ocean and of anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic items have existed all around the world. From the playing cards in Wonderland and to the haunted armors of Europe to the flying carpets of the Arabian Nights and even Ichigami or item gods from Japan. The, one of the most iconic is the Casa Albake or Ghost Umbrella. Some of you might be saying, but why Why should we do this? I ask you why you should not make a donut based on an object. This is for you. Doesn't matter if everyone else disagrees that that can't be a persona. It's like for people with primate Donuts. There's a whole argument in this fandom whether monkeys and primates should be considered for the furry fandom. For personas or not. I'm not even kidding. That's why you see so few monkeys. It's the dogs and cats, dime a dozen. Seriously. All you can find is generic dogs and cats anywhere. You might have a hard time finding a specific breed, but they're out there. Trust me, they're out there. From Chihuahuas to Mastiff. Someone has a suit for it somewhere, just gotta find it. So if you want to make a train donut, I say go right ahead. If you want to make a donut based on bananas, go right ahead. I would actually love to see these things. Heck, make these into suits, people. Make a train suit and then go to the train station and see what happens. See how many people can get to follow you around and while they're waiting for their train. Yes, you will become the train. Dress up like the banana and go to your local, local grocery store. With full permission, of course, to wear the mask. And just stand by the banana stand and see how many people will come up to you and ask you about the product. I guarantee you, people will. The matter if you're a bright pink banana with blue polka dots or not. Actually, now that kind of sounds fun. Do you think I should do that? A bright pink banana with blue polka dots? Let me know in the comments. Alright. Before I wrap this up, I want to give a big shout out now to two artists that would 
and let me use their art for this video. Carnival and Drain. 185. Thanks for watching, guys. You rock. If you liked what you saw and you would want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. And I hope to see you all next time. Oh, one more thing before I sign off. If you have any sonas that are not real personas, give me a link in the comment below. I'll see you all next time. Johnny.